Good afternoon, my name is Abby Rufier. I am a Reiki master, meditation coach, and aspiring wellness coach. This will be the first video of this kind that I've ever really played around with, so bear with me, I might stammer a little bit. But I'm excited to approach this from more of a coaching perspective as opposed to just the way that I've approached things before where I'm just kind of letting the healing energy speak for itself. I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So what I wanted to kind of elaborate on today is tapping into your own intuition, following your best path, and the tools that we are kind of born with that we don't really get to play around with much. And the idea of following a path that brings you peace is almost so simple that it's very confusing. So I kind of wanted to elaborate on that and tell you kind of what to look for. At least this has worked for me and a lot of people that I talk to and work with have really resonated with this too. So your, your sense might be a little different. Your messages might come through in a different way. So, which is completely fine. Just a point of reference that has helped me. I hope it helps you too. So whenever I'm at a crossroads, whether it's trying to figure out if I can trust someone or something, or if I need to make a change on the path that I'm on, or if I'm making a choice between one opportunity and another opportunity, helping me decide which one. There's a way that I kind of tap into myself and try to figure out what makes me, what aligns me with peace. And again, that's such an intangible thing. What is peace? How do I know what peace feels like? Well, at least for me, I'm going to tell you. So a lot of times when there's a new opportunity, it's going to kind of bring up a, a feeling of excitement, a kind of a rush. And just to kind of give you an explanation, and I apologize, like I said, I might stammer through this a little bit. When there's something exciting that's going to give you a rush, you often kind of feel a sense of heat, but it's gonna come in waves. So it's going to be big then small, big then small, a lot of movement. What you want for something long-term is not going to give you that rush. It's not gonna give you that, oh my God, oh my God. Like It's not going to give you that expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting. What you wanna look for and just feel it throughout your body, and I think you're gonna recognize this feeling. It's the same feeling you get if you, if it's a cold day, you curl up on the couch with a blanket and a cup of tea or hot chocolate, coffee, whatever gives you that warm, gooey, cozy feeling. But it's going to kind of start small and it's going to slowly, slowly expand, you know, allowing more heat, allowing more warmth, allowing more calmness, slowness, contentment to kind of flow through you. So again, when you're presented with two choices, let's say you're at a crossroads, let's say you want to change careers and you're presented with one opportunity, which maybe is stay where you are, the other opportunity is try something different. Take a few seconds, close your eyes, picture yourself on long-term, let's say 10 years down the road with choice A. Are you getting that seesaw, that wavy, or that in and out kind of expanding, contracting feeling? Or are you getting that slow, warm expansion? And then you want to use that same practice on the other side too. So again, this is something that's worked for me. Whenever I've given people advice to try it out, usually they say it's been really helpful and that it resonates with them. But again, you have to figure out your own how messages come through to you, how your body is talking to you and telling you what makes you happy. And you can do that by meditation, just really being silent with yourself and really just learning how your body talks to you. And that's that takes a long time. But I hope this was helpful for you. This has been really something that I've, like I said, I've practiced a lot of, you know, through a lot of deci hard decisions that I've had to make. But thank you so much for your time. I hope that this has been helpful and I hope you all have a wonderful day.